Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling, and it is time for the rematch we've all been waiting for. There's the former champion, Cassandra Golden, getting her opportunity, as she said, to divide and conquer. Last week, Mackenzie Morgan and Big John Dalton were victorious against Storybook and Matt, and today is the rematch. Cassandra and Nick. And Mix joined us on commentary for that match a week ago, Dustin was about to interfere, and then Cassandra Golden said, nah, not so fast. And here comes the champ, the goddess of the night, the reigning, defending Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion, Nyx, who did win the title fair and square because it was no rules, but literally attacking her best friends with a steel chair and siding with Ellsworth Enterprises, and she did it to capture the gold. And let's head down to the ring for the championship introduction from Terrence Moore. The following contest is set for one fall, and it is for the Memphis Wrestling Women's Championship. Oh, yeah. Introducing first, the challenger from Little Rock, Arkansas, the golden one, Cassandra Gold. Look out. If we couldn't call that by a mile. Never turn your back on your opponent, I guess even during the championship introductions and Terrence Ward's ringing that bell, it's underway, even though it was jump started. Yeah, Nick's with no regard for the formalities of the introduction or anything. She's going right at it. Seems like she only cares about herself lately as last week she said she's the boss. She didn't join them, they joined her and I can see that, but, but just the, cockiness in which she's going about herself at this point. And these two, Cassandra and Nix, were very, very good friends. Just like Morgan and Nix. Sometimes when you get a little bit of taste of that, 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 that fandom or that starness. The celebrity. Yes, the celebrity power that the title carries or that, that may carry. Ladies That's all and it gentlemen, takes. a lot of people watch this Memphis Wrestling television show. So being on it, it's almost instant stardom. And Nix, oh, oh, big splash. Might be in big trouble. Nix has definitely found that here at Memphis Wrestling. Well, let's be fair here. The last time these two were in the ring, Cassandra Golden got hit with a steel chair from behind by Nix for her to win that title. So now that it's just these two out here, I think Cassandra stands a really good chance. Well, you know that Big John Dalton and Mackenzie Morgan are watching somewhere, and it's a guarantee that Ellsworth Enterprise is watching somewhere. But here we go, hip attack in the Capel corner. Nobody home. Oh, double leg takedown, and all of a sudden, Cassandra Golden taken to the outside, and Nick's going to work with forearms. We're on the floor now. Memphis Wrestling is extreme today. The posse are here to take on Tommy Dreamer in an extreme measures match. Who's gonna be Tommy Dreamer's partner? Oh. But I mentioned that because now we're fighting on the floor in a championship match. Well, Cassandra giving Nix a taste of her own medicine in there. Cassandra getting the adoration of the fans in just that split second. Nix back on top, had the higher ground inside the squared circle, and now doing a number on the knee of Cassandra Golden. And really working it over now, levering that knee. Very, very painful. No submission. You call a lot of sports, Pete. Is the leg supposed to bend that way? No. Yeah, it doesn't take a doctor. You could probably even tell that at home. Easy just to rip some cartilage or anything in that knee. You know, Terrence, we were talking about celebrities and how sometimes it kind of goes to their head. That's what I like about Dustin. Massive celebrity, coolest guy in the world. Oh, yeah, okay. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. it's all in the, it doesn't go to my head, it goes to my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin Starr, Pete Pranikin, Terrence Ward calling the action. Women's championship match in the ring and a blatant choke in front of the referee. That's kind of how Nix rolls at this point. Well, when you're part of Ellsworth Enterprise, it's kind of the way they do business. Ellsworth has certainly made an impact here at Memphis Wrestling, whether he's here live or not. Attack in the corner there for Nix. Nice snap, Mare. What a kick to the back. Oh, that might have caught her on the chin there. One, two, near fall, two count. 
The match continues. Knicks in control here. Knicks on her feet as Cassandra is on one knee, just eating those forearms. Big spine buster! Stacks her up! Almost crowned a new champion! Chanting, and here we go. Big clothesline by Cassandra Golden. And another one. You could see her face just grimacing. Oh, you gotta be Hold on of a course. second. No, come oh. on. Matt Williams and Storybook Prince Gaston are out here. Wait, oh, wait, a wait, 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 wait. Oh, big John Dalton. Mackenzie Morgan handling business. Have a seat, Storybook. Referee has stepped away. Trying to Meanwhile, in get the control ring. out here. That new title belt misses inside the ring. Cassandra's got Knicks. She just clawed her eyes out. Oh, no. Come on. DDT on that championship belt. Meanwhile, on the floor, there's a hell of a fight. No. And that's it. Here is your winner and still Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion, the Goddess of the night, Nick. Highway robbery, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot going on out here. Let's take a look back at the instant replay. Brought to you by Memphis Wrestling Live. Join us tomorrow as storybook Prince Gaston and Matt Williams come out again to ruin a perfectly good championship match. It was an outstanding championship match, very much hanging in the balance until Ellsworth Enterprises decided to stick their big stinky noses in this thing. There she is, the Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion. It's Nyx, the goddess of the night, and fans don't go away. Main event, Baldy, <laughs> I mean Bradley, is coming up next. Same thing. Yeah.